What a phenomenal night so far here in the SPW arena. Now we have a tag team matchup here. Triple threat tag team. And you hear the Hey Rick with Rick Luxury on the outside with Corvus, part of the beautiful people. Also in this matchup, JMM and Gene Eric. And, and new to SPW, I've seen these men, and these are men, these are big men, wrestled before, Don Vitale. Well, you know, I don't know if you heard, but they're the Saskatchewan Slumber Tag Team Champions. What? That, that's just what I heard. Okay. From a fairly reliable source. No, but we got Keepers of the Faith. Don Vitale, Dave Gallo. Uh, you know, and it looks like Gallo. They're, they're making their SPW debut here. I was talk, talking a little bit to Dom earlier tonight, and uh, he told us he told me to watch out for a move they called Hard Times. So Gabriel Gallo's the bigger guy, I guess you could say, the bigger ball head Gallo, guy. Yes. And then uh, Dom Vitale, and they're both on the outside looking to make a name for themselves. Absolutely. And ooh, a J and M, and these guys from the Reno area have impressed us. You know, they're new. You know, they come with the other Reno crew, and just look at this combination. Oh, it just, they're so hungry. Every time I see them come back, you could just tell I want to make an impression because I want to break into the California scene, and they know here at SPW, that's the, where, the place to do it. Well, you know, Gene Eric and JMM tag teaming for the first time here tonight. JMM, we've seen before coming in. He's got his face painted up just like Gene Eric. I was asking Gene Eric, what does the face paint mean? He said, Junior, it means, you know, the people inspire me so that I can inspire the people. He puts the fun in fundamentals. He puts the tech in technique. I had no idea what this guy was saying, but apparently, you know, he believed it, which made me believe it. Let's hope these, uh, these people in the SPW Arena can believe it you, tonight. You get all the interviews. What do you do? I don't, I don't get to see you, and then I find out you come back and you have all this information. Alan, it's called talking to people. Okay. You should try it sometime. I should try it because you just have all the information. That's why you're the brains of this, of this duo here. And right now the duo of J&M and Gene Eric working so well against the tag team champions, especially someone like the wrestling personified and Rick Luxury. And if somehow... If uh, Gene Eric and JNM could figure out a, a, a win, this a talk about rocket boosters to the top of the cards, to the talk of, to, talk of the town. These guys have been making their way out here to Sacramento SPW Arena for the last couple of months, slowly building a name. This is their first time to really shine as a tag team. <laughs> oh, man. Hey. Up and over. A big body splash there. Gene Eric is uh, impressing me. Ooh, but Rick Luxury, you can't sleep on that man. You cannot sleep cannot. on Rick. You, if you're not on top of him, every second he'll get you. And I think j and learning this the hard way. Look at that. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, you cannot sleep on, on someone like Rick Luxury and give him that extra second. Ooh, look at that combination. Meet him in the boot. And look at that. Rick Luxury says, hey, Vitaly, you want to make an impression? Why don't you make an impression with one of these guys? Weaken them up for me. And uh, j and quickly. Talking to Dom earlier tonight, he told me to keep an eye out for, for a move they called hard time. Spine buster into a drop, uh, elbow drop from the top rope. May get to see that, may not. Depends on if the things go their way tonight. But these guys have been wrestling up and down all over the place. They're, they're international. And this is just, it's an example of the kind of talent SPW's bringing in every month for your entertainment. You know, you're making me look bad by actually doing homework. You know, Alan, you're here. I don't know. I don't know why you're here. <laughs> fair enough. Fair enough. Da Vitale. You're, says, here to, you're here to do all the sweating. There you go. You That's know, what I got by. You're, you're here to bring the energy. Ooh. Ooh. I'm here for everything else. And I think Gallo is here to bring the pain, because after that right hand, that could be enough, too. 
I like the way you said bring the pain. The way you just flowed right into that. That was very nice. That's all the pain. I'm starting for. to rub off on you, I can tell. <laughs> and Gabriel Gallows and ooh. Helping out there with the assist. Now oh. that big man is in, and that is a big man. Yeah, prior to this, Ooh. prior to this match, I mean, as these guys were coming out getting ready to fight, Dom had to hold Gallo back. He had to hold that yeah. man back, physically restrain him. And now he's unleashed in the middle of the ring. I, I kind of feeling bad for JMM right now. Yeah, JMM is in the wrong side of this punishment too. And that is a scary, scary man. I wouldn't want to be alone with that man right there. In any situation. Ooh, look how aggressive. Look at this combination. Oh, right to the face. Wow. Right to the face. Right to the face. Wow. And that's it. That's all. This, this is over. This is over. Cover. Two and Corvus there to break up the count. You got to believe if Corpus doesn't come in, it, it, the, the match is over. Well, hey, you know, even though this is a non-title match, the beautiful people want to make sure they get the win. Absolutely. These guys live off braggy rights. These guys live off the ego. That's how they feed themselves is their ego. And it's a, it's a wily maneuver for Rick to tag in uh, the keepers of the faith so that he and his partner can strategize on the corner. Right. And just jump in and break up, break up a right. pin it's every so smart. often. It's that's why they are the they're tag conserving team energy right now. That's why they're the tag team champions. It's like I always say, Alan. If you're on the ring, you're, if you're outside of the ring conserving energy, you have a better chance of winning the match. You say a lot of things. I like always that. say that though. And Don Vitale just setting. Keepers of the faith are just treating JMM like a rag doll right now. And you know, and for, for Dom and for Gabriel, these guys, wrestling is a religion to them. You know, when they say they're the keepers of the faith, they're the keepers of the faith of professional wrestling. This is holy ground to them. The ring is their temple. Ooh, and especially when you're, when you're debuting in a new company, it, it's a matter of let me show these new fans why. Ooh, man, that bit. And Rick just tagged himself in. How convenient to tag himself in after the beating that JMM has been taking. Hey, listen, let let the keepers oh. soft, soften up, soften up your opponent so you can come in and take you know, oh, reap man. the spoils. Rick luxury, and that's it's over. Two and th how is JMM just still in this matchup? JMM and Gene Eric. Two young guys, as you said, they're hungry. They got a lot of heart. They're out to make a name for themselves as well. They're not going to go down easy. Tagging in Gene Eric and ooh, big clothesline. Ooh, another one from the back. And that man is a fire firecracker. He is ready to go out of the box. Just line him up, tagged there by Gallows. And I don't know if uh, Gene Eric saw it, but he did feel that kick right to the back. And that big man looks like he's picking up his son. Oh, man. Gallows, ooh, quickly to that devastating cover. Two. Dropped that elbow, but he really dropped that elbow, and that's a lot of man falling on that young man right there. Yeah, the guy is like a pit bull getting in there. Dog with a bone. Uh-oh, Corvus stopping the tag. Gallows goes in. It's Uh -oh, uh, now things it's are starting to break down here. It, it, and referee Jacob Lee, what is he supposed to do? That's he's, I would have get in the middle of that. That is a well, lot that's of his, That's his job, Alan. He's got to get in the middle of that. Oh, man! Wow. <laughs> oh, nobody home there. J&M. He's tagged in. Oh, oh, man! Spine buster. That's some hard time right there from the keepers of the faith. Uh oh, but you have to remember, yeah, Rick Luxury is an illegal man. He tagged himself to two, three. I forgot that was right. Beautiful people. Stealing the victory once again. Wow. I don't agree with it, but it's pretty smart.
I tell you what, keepers of the faith made a name for themselves tonight. They made a statement. Wow. I'm impressed by the Keepers of Faith. They've definitely earned my respect here at SBW. I mean, the truth is, if it wasn't for that blind tag, they would be the winners of this matchup. Yo, know, made a statement here tonight. Also, a lot of respect to Gene Eric and JMM. JMM has marks all over him from the beating they took. I'm sure we'll see more of both of these teams in the future of SPW. The future is bright for Supreme Pro Wrestling. Tag Team Division is hotter than ever, but we have still so much more to come up. <laughs>